Would you stop? Would you stop fighting me? Ow! Ow! Oh, thank you so much. God, I know how much you like people to bite you. I just thought you might like a pinch too. Hey, what? Oh, why do I even bother with you? I really don't know. All I want to do is be left alone. Oh, really? Yeah. And you thought you'd make things better by telling Olivia I kissed you? It wasn't even that kind of a kiss. I know. And you're going to tell her that when you see her. You know, I am about this close to turning you over to Joshua myself. Hey, you know what? You're barely even human, so I really don't expect you to understand what I'm going through. Oh, you want to talk about frustrations? You want to hear about frustrations? I used to be somebody. I had it all, and look what I am now. I'm a babysitter for you. You want to know what's worst of all? I have no idea where Olivia is right now. Well, you probably shouldn't have left us alone, huh? Hey! I was trying to find the antidote for Olivia. We told you there was no antidote. We have told you there was no antidote. You know what? I think I liked things better when I was trying to kill that guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I think, Caleb? I think you should just admit the real reason why you went to go find Joshua. I just told you why. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know what you just told me. But I think that you went to go find Joshua to show him who the real boss was. Hmm? I don't know what it is with you and, and being a vampire or being immortal or whatever, but with you guys, all guys in general, y'all just a bunch of macho idiots. Going to Joshua was not an ego trip. I was trying to find a cure. No, you weren't. You weren't. You were just trying to go throw your weight around. You're upset because Rafe and Joshua still have powers, and you don't. Face it. That's it. And here I thought you were the shy, quiet type. Oh, no, 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 no. See, what's so stupid about this whole thing is that you have, like, the number one power that everybody wants. Power? Wow, that's, that's almost funny. I'm human now. Hello. You're a rock star. Everybody wants to be a rock star. What is that? What, what is that? What, what, what kind of a response is that? I don't know. I'm losing it. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> me oh <my> too? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I really needed that back. That's exciting. I appreciate that. Thank you. Rafe. Sorry to interrupt your little oh, party. Oh, God. Hi. Okay. In case anyone was wondering, I, I managed to not be lynched by half the town. Yeah, well, you know what? That wouldn't have happened if you stayed put, which was the plan, as I recall. You know what, Rafe? I think you're yelling at the wrong person here. You might want to talk to your sweet little angel, Allison. She's the one who kissed Caleb. No, sure. I, no I didn't kiss him. He kissed me. What? No, but it's not, this is not what you think. And stop making this a big thing. Come near her again. What? What, you gonna kill me? Yeah. Because I've just been waiting for an excuse. You admit you want to kill me. Damn right. I mean, nothing's really changed now, has it? Okay, hmm. stop, both of you, please. Let's try and remember that Joshua is the real enemy here, and we need each other. Yeah, I like this much better. Yeah? No more pretending we're on the same side. Yeah. Then we're trying to save your sorry hide. I should have let you die when I had the chance, huh? That's just great. Now that we've done, they're at each other's throats once again because of you. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You're not happy unless you're stirring things up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Reef, Caleb was just trying to save my life. By kissing you? No, it wasn't like that at all. Really? Then exactly what was it like? Hello? Isn't it obvious? Hey, that's enough. Come on, just look at me and Rafe. We started out on opposite sides and ended up in bed together. I think there is a strange, sexy line between love and hate. That is very different. Oh, come on, me. I am not stupid. I know something is going on here. Olivia. What? I've been following you around like some lost puppy while you have been following your instincts, your human instincts. What, does the whole mortal thing suddenly turn you on, Caleb? So why don't you just tell me the truth? Are you and Allison sleeping together? The answer is no, we are not sleeping together. Thank you. You don't really think No, no, right? of course not. I just wouldn't okay. pass him the try. Oh, sure. You know what? This is ridiculous. You know, this isn't one-sided here. You don't think Allison is capable of manipulating a man into bed? Are you kidding me? You're talking about yourself. <laughs> hey. Look, believe what you want, but here's what happened. <sighs> Allison was upset because she had heard her grandmother had been turned. Yes, and we were sitting in the villa, we were hiding, and I was about to go after Joshua for it, what had happened. It was totally spare of the moment. I didn't know what else to do, so I, I just I wanted to shine. I, just, I, I planted one on her. I... Oh. 
<laughs> right, okay. So instead of putting your hand over her mouth or dragging her out of there or about a dozen other alternatives I can think of, you decide to kiss her? For once, I finally agree with you, Rick. Hey! Would you rather have her be dead? Yes! Oh, get off it. What about you? You feel the same way? Look, I, I need to talk to you, okay? We're getting nowhere. Please, come on. Well, two of you got your story straight. I'll give you credit for that. What is wrong with you? Hmm? You know exactly what's wrong no, with me. No, I don't. Hey, look at me. I am fighting for us with everything I have, and it doesn't seem to be enough. I'm sorry. Do you really believe that I want Allison? Honestly, do you believe that? No. Then what the hell is this about? It is killing me, not being able to give you what you need. You are what I need. You are all I have ever needed. Not the way I am now. Just the way you are, sweetheart. Just the way you are is all I want. But I can't make love to you. Not the way we want, not unless I, I could kill you. Don't you give up on me. I will find the antidote. Oh. Caleb, Rafe says there is no antidote. Rafe. Rafe is a liar. He is a liar, and even if he is telling the truth, if I have to search the world, I will find a cure. Do yeah. you understand me? And what if you can't find it? Then you and I can't be together, but you and Allison, you're both mortal. You can be together forever. Well, well I have to sit in the back and watch for all eternity. Hey, can you please calm down? I just hate the thought of him touching you. It wasn't even a real kiss. I swear it was nothing. Not to Caleb. You don't seriously think that he would be, like, coming on to me in the middle of a war? You sh <laughs> uh, You're too trusting. Hey, I promise you, for the last time, he was not hitting on me. Yes, yes, of course he was. That's exactly what he was doing. Come on, open your eyes, all right? Don't you say he's trying to pull you in? That's the way he operates. The way you're defending, I must say it's working. You know what, Rafe? I really resent this. Fine. But you know what? It's not the first time that happened. Remember when Caleb first came to town pretending to be Stephen Clay? He got to then, too. I'm sorry. Did you not hear anything that I said in there? I told you that Caleb saved my life. He is not your friend. He is not your buddy. Are you forgetting who he is? No, I know exactly who he is. And I can't believe that you would think that I'm so stupid that I would I fall for him like stupid. some stupid I, little groupie. I didn't, I didn't say that. No, I, yeah, but you're implying that. And I don't know what it is between the two of you. But this war that you've had going on forever, I think that you've really forgotten who, who the real enemy is. And, and you have forgotten who the real Caleb Morley is. I mean, that guy, he might walk like a man and talk like a man, but he's still the same ruthless bloodsucker who stopped our wedding. You remember that? Same person who saddled up your mother in half this town with his evil curse. Yeah, no, I haven't forgotten. Well, good. Thanks. Good. Because the second you let your guard down and you let him fool you into believing that he is reformed or harmless, or that he's capable of caring about anything else besides himself. And it's the last mistake you're ever gonna make. Will you talk to me, please? I don't wanna fight. Okay, good, because I don't Especially either. about him. I don't wanna fight, all right? Okay, I agree. Yeah. The thing is, I was just with your friends, and they, they, were, they were grieving for you. And I had to stand there and pretend like you were dead and that I'd never see you again, okay? I'm sorry. It's okay, I just, I, I never want to be there, you know? I never really, really want to be standing there, just, just up there alone, knowing you're nothing but a memory. I, so I, I'm not going to apologize for protecting you, and I'm not gonna apologize for hating Caleb, okay? Because this whole thing started with him, and I have a feeling it's gonna end with him. Okay, okay. 